Yo, how's it going guys? My name is Attacking Toucans and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a let's play of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, the only Zelda game I have never played before. Now, I also had never played Oracle of Seasons, but I did a very first let's play of that game just a few months ago on my channel and it was an amazing experience. That game brought so many things to the Zelda game formula that I had never seen before and Oracle of Ages is going to continue our journey in a very strange way that I've never seen any other video game do before. So what happened is after 100%ing Oracle of Seasons, after beating the final boss, we ended up getting this game code and I have it written down. And when we start our file, we're going to type it in and it's going to continue our journey from our last file. And I don't know everything that's going to happen, but I do know that it gives us an extra heart and it keeps our same file name. But I'm very interested to see what other things stay the same across our two journeys. Oh, the other thing is that all of our rings are also going to be transferred and we're going to continue adding on to our ring collection. And when we beat both games, we get another code that allows us to do a final dungeon and super final boss that kind of bridges both of the games. It, it's insane. I can't believe I've never played this before and I'm just so excited for the journey. And I think that's a Gasha nut on the screen. If, when this game has a nut on the title screen, you know it's gonna be a good game. They're just giving you a forewarning. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this up. We're gonna select our file and we're gonna be typing the code into the secrets. Now there's a lot of characters. I'm just gonna fast forward this. Okay, arrow parenthesis. There's a lot of character combinations here with all the shapes and punctuation as well. All right. And yeah, there we go. Continuing <laughs> the file Mario. Why did we name Link Mario? And we have four hearts. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue our journey. Blind Let's Play. I don't know anything about this game. And I want to preface this by saying do not post any spoilers or backseat too hard in the comment section, but feel free to answer any questions or tell me any interesting tips or facts about the game, maybe easter eggs. Just don't try to guide me too much, but feel free to like leave interesting facts that would enrich my experience without spoiling the game for me. I think you guys can figure it out. And I have mods that look over the comments that help me refine the experience for myself anyways. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into Oracle of Ages, the last Zelda game for me to play to finally finish my collection. Is that Twin Rova? Oh, Onyx, General of Darkness. Twin Rova will not let your death go to waste. Behold, Onyx, the troubles you cause now burn in the flame of destruction. When the flames of sorrow and despair burst into flame, we will offer up the sacrifice and the dark rites of the Gerudo will be complete. Then the evil king shall return. Dude, what kind of sacrifice are they looking for? That's pretty awesome. Wait, no, that's not awesome. That's weird. Sacrifices are weird. Unless they're to the Quad Sun, then they're totally acceptable. Accept our quest, hero. Dude, I'm here for it. Let's go. Oh, we love the wavy lines. Now, in case you guys did not know for some reason, this game was released in 2001 on the Game Boy Color and was developed by Capcom. So yeah, this game was not developed by Nintendo, so it doesn't feel entirely like a Nintendo game, but it does feel very much like a Zelda game entirely. Help! Who needs our help? Yo, is that Impa? Yo, girl, what's... Yo, why the heck did the Octoroks just run away from us? No Zelda enemy just runs away from you, but what? That was frightening. That was suddenly attacked. Thank you, Traveler. What is your name? Mario, is it? <laughs> this kid's delusional. I see a Dorito on the back of your hand. That is the sign of a Hyrulean hero. That must be why the beasts fled. Beasts never flee from Link, despite the fact that he's a hero or not. Yeah, I recognize you, Wimpa. You were like one of the first characters from Seasons. I couldn't ever forget about you. Ooh, Nehru, the singer. How come all these goddesses are singers? They're like freaking Disney stars. They all want to be pop stars. All right, we got Impa following us. The old graveyard. 
If this was in Missouri, it'd be the Y'all Graveyard. What a great spot! Such clean air! Now if only time could stop. Dude, I feel like that. Sometimes there's days where you just wish time could stop on that specific day. Ooh, an animal utopia. That sounds like a paradise. I want to go. Oh, that's it! It's the Dorito Rock. This rock with the Dorito is a sign! Could you move this rock for me, Mario? Uh, yeah, see what I can do. I'll just... <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> she, she just admits defeat. Where are you going? I was trying to explore. What do I do? Do I gotta push it to the side? That was easy. Thank you. Now let's go. Now that's what I'm supposed to say. I'm Mario. Let's -a go. <laughs> I hear some music. Ooh, monkey butt. And there's a bunny too. La -la 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 -la. Huh? Nair is the best singer in live. Ooh, what's this place? Labrina? We're not in Holodrum anymore, Toto. What was that? What was that called again? Labrina. I'm gonna have to remember that. <laughs> Shh! I can't hear Nairu sing. How charming. No! I have to hear Nairu's song! It's beautiful. Who is that dancing wizard to the side of her? Can I do anything here? That's weird. Okay. She's singing her heart out. Oh, there's a house. Who lives here? Knock, knock. Do you guys say anything different? They all, like, say the same thing. Oh. Sit here and listen. How charming. Okay, we have to talk to the bear twice. That's a little bit confusing. Isn't it enchanting? Oh, I love the artwork for this game. Dude, Link is such a ladies' man. Every single woman loves Link. And that's why I think Link's gay. Because he turns them all down. Why does he turn them all down? You're the Hyrule's messengers, aren't you? Impa and Mario, right? A bird brought message of your arrival. My name is Ralph. <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm an old friend of Nairu's. We're counting on you. The Nairu is talking to us. I don't want to embarrass myself. You've come all the way from Hyrule, correct? Pleased to meet you. I am Nairu. I've been very worried about hearing that Labrina would face many evil troubles. Don't worry, Nairu, I'm here. I'll chase away any beast that comes near you. Sorry, Mario, but I doubt we'll need you. Fine with me. I just want to hang out and play video games. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mario. Ralph is always like this when it comes to me. But I feel that something evil is approaching, just as Ralph claims. He's territorial. We're used to it. Impa? <laughs> Why is Impa being so creepy? <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Not bad for a diva. Not bad for Nairu, Oracle of Ages. Something terrible will happen right now, before your very eyes. Oh, dang. Oh, Impa was freaking possessed. Okay, something felt fishy. I was wondering why she was a little bit blue tinted. I thought it was maybe like an art direction thing, but no, she was just possessed. Who is that? Is that their hair? Thank you, Mario. You've allowed me to pass through the sacred barrier. <laughs> I don't know what voice to give this guy. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. I am Varen, sorceress of shadows. Oh, that's a girl. Oh, she's wearing like a hat or something. I see. Okay, well, she definitely needs a different voice. Nairu, Oracle of Ages. I shall make your body my own. <laughs> How come they keep on... How come they keep on attacking these goddesses? I guess if I was a bad person, I'd probably attack goddesses too. You know, they have all their power and they're immortal and stuff. Dang, so can this spirit just possess anybody she wants 
What are you doing to Nairu? I'll cut you in two if you don't let her go. Ha! <laughs> Aren't you brave? Turning a sword at me. If you catch me, it's Nairu who dies. Dang, she means business. Yeah, just back up, Ralph. Nairu is no mere diva. She is the Oracle of Ages who controls time. Now the Oracle's powers are mine. I can travel through time as I choose. Okay, I figured that we'd be traveling through time in this game. Because you know seasons, you travel through the seasons. And then ages, you travel through the ages. Now a new age shall begin. The Age of Darkness. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Maybe not the right time. <laughs> I shall go to the past and do as I please. They're gonna go to the past? Ooh. No, if you want to make yourself popular in the present, that's the only way to really do so, right? Because you can always work to make yourself popular in the future. The only way to make yourself really popular in the present is to go back and change the course of history. I guess. What the heck? Did she just Thanos snap everybody? Well, everyone's disappearing. What is she doing? Is she like killing everybody in the past? No, not little Timmy! Not little Timmy! No! Oh, this grandma's so afraid. That was so sad. That Varen. She couldn't touch the stones, so she used you to get in here. Wait, how did she use me? I didn't do anything. Oh, wait, the stone with the Dorito on it. I gotcha. I've known Nairu was the Oracle of Ages since she was a child. I have always been beside her, protecting her. Did anyone ask you to do that? Sounds like you're just simping to me, bro. But now this, Nairu! Wait, I'll save you! What are you gonna do? I mean, I guess try to do something. I don't always wanna be the only person trying to save people out here. You okay, Impa? Oh, Mario, you saved me to think I was possessed. I have failed Zelda. Zelda. She sensed an evil shadow drawing near Nairu and asked me to bring her to Hyrule. We should not have forgotten you, the hero of Hollow Drum. Look what has happened now. So they remember that I saved Hollow Drum? Where did we come from? How did we get here? Where did we come from, Cod Night Joe? That Varen lady is frightening. I was forced to do her will in spite of myself. Varen said she go back in time. She must hope to use Nairu's powers to launch some plan in the past. Labrina already feels the effects. Mario, first hollow drum, now Labrina faces its doom. I am sorry to ask so much, but we can rely on no other. Please save Nairu. Ah oh yes, Zelda entrusted this shield to me. Please use it. Wow, this is actually feeling like a full sequel to Oracle of Seasons, since even the characters are referring to me saving Holodrum. The Maku Tree in Lina Village? The Maku Tree is the guardian of Labrina. Surely she... The Maku Tree is a girl in this game? Sounds saucy. Nairu's house is in the woods, east of here. I'll be there. Dang, they just possessed Nairu right next to her own house. I mean, you know, they say statistically, a majority of car accidents happen five minutes from home. So I would imagine that same statistic applies to possession. Can I go in this, is that a fireplace? Or what's, it looks like a secret passage. Mario, please save Nairu. Okay, but you don't gotta say too much. Whoa, they have a clock in here? I guess this game is all about time, so it makes sense that there's clocks. Okay, so we enter this area and there was a random hourglass up in the top corner. I'm not sure what that indicates. We can go down now. We just have our shield. Cool. Can I shield the bush to death? Shield the bush! Wait, did I get a sword? I Okay, I'm really sorry about that. I did not realize that I was given a sword. <laughs> I promise I won't make that many dumb decisions in this let's play, but I also cannot back up my promise. Okay, we have a shop. 
An old man? This is Lina City. So you're telling me it's full of liars? Whoa! Ouch! You can't carry them like that! It's the seeds! Does the seed satchel return? I actually hope it does, because the fact that it had five different types of seeds, like... The seed satchel is like five items in one. So cool. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I've never played this game, so I'm just gonna have to explore and get used to the overworld and just take it all in. Ooh, is this the ring shop? Can I type in my code right now? Okay, if you save the code that Red Snake told you in Oracle of the Seasons, which I did write that down, and you tell it to the Red Snake here, you can bring rings found in your Oracle of Seasons game here. In the same way you can take rings from here to Oracle of Seasons. Good news! Okay, so we don't have a game link cable, but I do have the code! This is so many words! <laughs> Jeez. Okay, this code is shorter than the other one, so that's nice. And it seems to have worked. I have brought your rings from Holodrum, so see Vasu to check your lists. Is this for real? Show me that list. Oh, we do have them all. It seems like we can only hold one of them, but we have some strong rings. So we have the red ring, which doubles our store damage, which almost seems like it would be cheating. I don't want to do that, because I want the game to still be like a normal difficulty for me. Maple meetings are up. Do I want to meet Maple right now? Get knocked back less, recover lost hearts. Ooh, that one seems useful. I'm gonna give myself this one for now. Let's see what other ones we have. No damage from small rocks. Beast drop double rupees. Ooh, this one sounds really good too. Honestly, I'm gonna do that. Getting double rupees at the beginning of the game sounds nice. Double ore chunks. Are ore chunks going to exist in this game? We have the rings that allow us to turn into different creatures. No effect from jinxes. Dive without breathing. Damage taken is always one heart. A protection ring. Okay, I'm gonna do this ring rupee because getting more rupees seems like the best way to go. Rings do nothing unless worn. Right, so let's go to, how do, how do I move? There it is. Let's go ahead and put it on. And yeah, hopefully that makes us rich. Cool, so we're gonna keep adding on to our ring collection. I love everything about this. I've never seen games connected in this sort of way before, at least older games. I guess modern day games are kind of connected in similar ways, but this is this just feels different. The Maku tree stands at the far end of this cave. Can I cross this bridge? Oh, the drawbridge is up. Uh, let's keep on exploring the town before I go to the cave. I just want to take everything in. I'm a very... I love world building, especially in Zelda games. It's one of my favorite parts. It's been too long. I've moved to the city too. It's nice to see a familiar face. Is that Farp? And he's still socially awkward! Oh my god, Farp! Mario, we meet again! Do you remember naming our son Farp? He's quite well, <laughs> yes! Farp, I'm glad to see you're doing okay, bud! You're looking as awkward as ever. You're Mario? I'm Farp, no way! Wait, if he's so excited to see us, why is he still running? Maybe he just likes cardio. I guess he's gonna become a cross-country runner someday. Dude, that's so funny that Farp ends up traveling with us. A similar situation happened to me <laughs> whenever I moved from Missouri to LA. The football team, the St. Louis Rams, ended up moving to LA to become the Los Angeles Rams, and it felt like they moved with me. Missouri to LA, baby. Lately, folks have been vanishing and turning to stone without warning. What's happening? Yeah, that seems really scary. I'm surprised more of these people haven't brought that up yet. <laughs> I am Plin, the mayor here in Lina City. Lina has a long history, reaching back hundreds of years. Back then, it was Lina Village. Ooh, but they got the upgrade. Good job. Well, how do I get this chest? What? What items are in this game? Is it gonna be the same items from Oracle of Seasons? Or is it gonna be like a whole new set of items? I'm excited to see, you know? There's just so many things to look forward to. Mermaid statue! 
I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but I am a professional aquafarian. I love mermaids. I want to be a mermaid myself. They're building a tower on the other side of the river. A tower? So what kind of candy is never on time? Chocolate! <laughs> Isn't that a sweet joke? <laughs> Bruh. That joke goes against our aesthetics, you know? Aesthetics? What the heck is he talking about? No, the kid's still a statue! This is so sad! <laughs> What's going on? My grandson has turned to stone! How? Why? Wake up! Call me Grandma again! You know, that's what happens when kids get into drug use early. It's not a pretty sight. You don't want to get stoned at too young of an age, or else that happens. We have a random little shack over here. Oh, it was the know-it-all birds! Okay, so I talked to these birds in the other game, but they just tell us like basic mechanics and tips and tricks and stuff. So no really, so no purpose really talking to them. Where are we going? Oh, isn't this the title screen music? What does it symbolize? Where are we? For some reason, this game looks Pokemon-ish. Oracle of Seasons didn't feel that way, but this game kind of feels more like a Pokemon game. Uh, okay, that seems blocked off. Is that the giant tower they were talking about? It better be for the Quad Sun. It's the only deity that we allow ourselves to worship around here. Okay, that's blocked off. Can I see a map? I can't. Another small little hut. Hut, hut, one, hut, hut, two. Cute doggy. Does this woman have, like, plastic surgery? It's Mamamu! Aw, I love Mamamu. Yan, the top breeder in town. Wow, so the lady in Majora's Mask is inspired by this woman. So cool. My dog is much cuter than that dog. Much cuter. But my dog is very shy. Do you know of a good way to hide its face? You don't need to hide your face. You should be... Proud of how cute you are, little puppy. Where's the other dog? I guess it's just hiding. Dude, shout outs to my mamu. <laughs> I actually call my mom a mamu just because of Majora's Mask, and it's so great to see my mamu show up yet again. Is this. Is this Captain Toadsworth? Ho ho! I am Troy! Ooh! That's my roommate's name. TWD98. In his younger days, I traveled the world and saw many animals. Even at my age, I'm quite dedicated. You show promise if you've come to hear me speak. Just between us, I have seen a terrifying monster that eats shields. How frightful! Dude, he's talking about my favorite enemy. I like like likes. But yeah, my friend Troy also likes to travel a lot, so maybe that's Troy when he grows up. <laughs> Gotta love when you see your friends in video games. Okay, let's go to the Maku tree. Maku Road. I'm digging the music in here. Very, very positive. Danger! What's wrong? What kind of danger? What's, what's going on? I'm not seeing anything wrong right now. We made it. Oh, here she is. She's so cute. Aw. Pleased to meet you, young hero. I am the Maku Tree, guardian of Labrina. Baron, sorceress of shadows, has taken Nairu, the Oracle of Ages. She's disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with the power of sorrow. We cannot give in to the one of impure hearts. You must stop, Vern. And soon, but to stop her, you'll need something. Something. It's kind of hard to read dialogue in this game with it being on like such a small little box. Wait, what's going on? Ah! Are you okay? I don't think you're supposed to be changing colors like that. You're vanishing. What? Something must be happening to me in the past. Help! Damn, veterans. Dark. She just. Got rid of the existence of the Maku tree. 
That's like more sad than when the Deku tree dies. Cause Elisa's body's still there, like she just ceased to exist. It's almost as if she was never born. Whoa, we just circled around. The Maku tree? This is more of Varen's work. Mario, you made it. Varen just leapt through this time portal. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nairu and the Maku tree. I'm coming, Nairu. Let's do it. So we're traveling back in time. Another one? First, that guy with the weird hat appears. Then you, the one with the weirder hat. Ever since then, ever since that girl Nairu came, there's been all sorts of weird going ons. Uh, yeah, such as what? What's happening now here? Line of village, well, I'm gonna go the opposite direction of the sign. Never mind, I'm gonna follow the sign. All right, so it seems like there wasn't as much vegetation in the past. They look like a happy family. I wish I could join them. The village has been hit hard with the construction of Queen Ambie's tower. But you still got to spend time with the kids. Hey, nice one. Yeah, that's like the really strange thing about like tragedy and disaster is like having to raise kids through those situations and still trying to make their childhood seem normal even though the world that they're living in at the time is like anything but. I cannot imagine people who have to like raise kids through like war or even in the past like famines and other just horrific scenarios. But also at the same time, I wouldn't want to raise kids even nowadays where times are great. Cause moral of the story is I don't, I probably shouldn't raise kids. Seems scary. The queen was very kind until only recently. You can ask the village elder about the queen. He lives across the river near the tower. All right, so how has Lina village changed? The village is full of excess dirt from the tower. There's no room to walk and any tools we could use to clear the path are being used for construction. Dude, what is this? What am I looking at? Need some target practice? It's only 10 rupees. I have none of those. This game is actually, this game seems to have a much uh, slower start in comparison to Oracle of Seasons. Okay, so yeah, there is a bunch of dirt everywhere. It's blocking the way. The village has been full of rubble ever since work started on that tower. You can't get anywhere without a shovel to clear a path. So what are they building this tower for? Is it just like a dick measuring contest? Lately, she's been bothered by monsters. This is Lina Village. Whoa! Oh, excuse me. We haven't had any nights for a few days now. I haven't had any nights. I'm so confused. I hope these answers are given to me soon. <laughs> Queen Ambi has a boyfriend, a seafaring man, but he has set sail and one day never came back. She's building a tall tower so she can search the lands for any sign of his return. Well, I got my answer much more quickly than I thought. <laughs> it's called Ambie's Tower. It was a touching tale. That's kind of touching, but at the same time, is one person's lover worth the exploitation and labor of a whole society? <laughs> this isn't good. I want to deliver the mail on time, but I can't do it if I don't know the time. Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? How, how can you be on time to something if you never know the time? I guess that's... Even, what if he's the one who ends up inventing the clock? I can't believe people used to live without clocks. Okay, so we can't go see the queen unless we bring her something rare? Am I not rare enough? Well, I'm the one and only Link. Okay, maybe not the one and only. I might have a bunch of different iterations over different timelines and video games, but still... Darn gosh, the seeds sprouting, growing, making nuts, and all of those new nuts got different stuff inside. Ha! <laughs> Get rid of it for me. You mean the teardrops? The teardrop seeds. I know there's soil right by my house, but don't go planting seeds there. Or what? Or what you gonna do about it? I'm gonna do it anyways. And if he kills it. I don't care too much, it's just a plant. Was not expecting the hand. But paper, do you have any paper? 
I, I had no clue this hand has been around since the Game Boy Color days. Is this the first instance of the toilet hand? Damn, Zelda has the same running tropes over and over again. It's pretty nice. Oh, can we go to the tower now? Why build such a huge thing? It's just work, work, work. Dirt, 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 dirt. Hey, gotta put on work, 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 work. The entry to the tower. Being built to the heavens by order of Queen Ambi. Ooh, it gets its own cutscene. At first, this tower was being built to guide Queen Ambi's love safely back from the sea. But ever since Nairu came, the sun sits high in the sky, as if time itself had stopped. It's not like Queen Ambi to push us so hard. In the village, they're starting to call it the Black Tower. Kind of reminds me of the Tower of Babel. That like Bible story where they were trying to build a tower to the heavens. You can look around, but the construction has some areas closed. If you hang around too much though, you might get yelled at. Maybe that's my kink, so I'm gonna go for it. The Black Tower. Dude, look at all the labor happening. Heave ho. Heave to the ho, baby. My job isn't done. How can I face the queen? I'll never make it. Damn, look at these bootlickers trying to make these bosses happy. Loafers won't get off easy. It's been awful ever since that Nairu girl appeared. Now we have to work hours on end. Why is Nairu pushing them to work so hard? And this is how unions were invented. The guards will come to check on me. Yeah, make sure the work's done. You want to make sure your superiors are happy with you. Okay, it seems like they're saying the same stuff. Alright, how large is this tower? Is it going to end up becoming a dungeon later on? What do I feel like it is? A digging tool? That's the spirit, Sonny! Here! You can have... Well, that's convenient. Thank you! <laughs> nice! Now start digging. I mean, he only gave it to us because he expects us to do manual labor for him. And we are, if I can equip my shovel. Digging up that dirt, digging up. Uh, what's over here? Uh, there's no going past this point. Nothing up there is complete, so there's no entry. Why do I have a feeling that this is going to be the last dungeon of the game? The tower is going to end up getting finished and we're going to come back through. Or we're just going to come back here in the future. Because like right now we're in the past, right? So I guess we're going to go back to the future and it's going to be done. Can I get some rupees from this dirt? Want to buy myself some... Some new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm getting into it now that the Master Duel came out. <laughs> and we're out. Okay, and we have a shovel. Can we go ahead and grab this piece of heart? Hey, G Willikas. And there we are. I'm probably going to 100% this game, just like I did for Oracle of Seasons, because I typically 100% every Zelda game the first time I play through it, because it's just so much more satisfying to beat it with 20 hearts. Ooh, does he have the cane of Pachi? I am Alar. For 50 years, I was a palace advisor, but I have been since chased from the palace and am now retired. I have known the queen since she was young. She always held the people foremost in her heart. But since she took that girl Nairu in, she has changed completely. She quit listening to my advice. It was that girl who suggested I be banished, but... But what? Just who is this Nairu? I can only see her as a monster in human guise. I wonder if the queen is alright. Yeah, what is the, did the queen like end up going lesbo for Nairu? Like, why is she listening to her? Unless Varen also possessed the queen. I guess that's also just as possible. Why'd it get dark? Huh! Only the darkness can ease my heart. I guess laughing my troubles away is just a dream deferred. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> He's into this dark stuff. He's practicing some of the dark magic. 
Um, can I go to where the Maku tree was? Since we have a shovel now? I'm gonna go give it a look. I'm gonna dig this old man. Looks like there could be something over here. Can I double dig? Whoa! Ground fairy? Hello, ground fairy. But don't disappear. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and head back into the cave. Is it the same thing? Or are we gonna see some differences? Oh, we have a puzzle. Do I just push the block? Easy. Back to tutorial mode. Is one of these games supposed to be more difficult than the other? Just for a sense of like they expect you to play one first and then you play the other once you become better at combat or anything? I think I was told that Oracle of Seasons focuses more on combat and Oracle of Ages focuses more on puzzles. Which, if that's the case, I'm pretty excited because I love Zelda puzzles. I like Zelda combat too, but I think the puzzles are what I truly love about Zelda games. I'm pretty good at these block pushing puzzles. Although that's just a tutorial block pushing puzzle, but like if you played other Zelda games, you obviously just know how to do it. And a key, cool. I guess this room is just to teach us how to walk <laughs> without falling. And even though the path is one block wide, Link has a lot of precision in this game. It's like no effort whatsoever staying on the path. Moving on over. Whoa, does this room have a set of tits? Very nice. Okay, how do I do this? How do I get in here? Aha! I'm a king! Whoa! If Fistafo's in my way, I'll swing and break his spinal cord. Close, close. Oh! We're halfway there! Whoa! Till I get my heart piece! Dumaku Road is different. They're making me put in work. I don't like working. Oh no! Maku tree! Whee! This is the guy Varen was talking about. Get him! Uh, not on my watch. Leave me alone! Aww. What's with you? Keep clear! Pfft, they died after one hit. <laughs> Pathetic. Wow! You were so darling and cool. Oh, she's got a former crush too, isn't she? <sighs> All the girls are thoughts in Zelda games. What a nice name. I'm the Maku Tree. You were brave. They said the Oracle of Ages convinced Queen Ambi to build a black tower. Maybe she made them attack me. Thank you for rescuing me. I will never, ever forget it. And I promise I'll repay you when I grow up. <laughs> this is about all I can do. <laughs> I don't want to know how she's going to repay us, honestly. Give us a good root job. Remember, I will repay you when I grow up. She keeps on reiterating that, and... <laughs> at least... At least she's waiting till she's older. That's all I have to say. Um, <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to be your bride. That's what I thought she meant. Ah, oh, I said it! If she breathes, she a thought. Are they forcing me to go back in the past? Do I want to go back? Is it time? Sure, let's do it. Oh wait, no, this is gonna take me back to the future, I think. Yeah! Maku Tree, are you good? She's back! Yeah, Maku Tree! Eee, it's weird. It all seems so foggy. I'm forgetting so much. Oh, you, you're Mario! Mario! Why are you here now? I've been waiting so long for you. Don't you remember? Hundred that was hundreds of years ago? You promised. Damn, she really fell in love. When I grow up, I'll marry you. That's what I said, Mario. Four hundred years I waited. But I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Our hearts are bound across time by a thread of What? No, did we really have to break her heart now? Come on! Why won't you listen to me? Fine. 
you want to talk about Varen, right? Maybe Varen is using Queen Ambi to raise the tower to the heavens. If one of our impure hearts gains the powers of shadow, this world will be covered in darkness. That's what this is about. To know the past is to know the present. Varian can do as she pleases if she finds dark power in the past. All will go dark. Mario, you must stop Varian and save Nairu. How come all the enemies in Zelda games just want to make the world dark? Like, what is their intentions? Why do they want to make the world dark? Maybe Varen is using Queen Ambi to raise the tower to the heavens. If one of Impure Heart gains the power of Shadow... Oh, is she like... If she builds up to the sky, will she get a piece of the Triforce or something? Huh. To know the past is to know the present. Varen can do as she pleases if she finds dark power in the past. All will go dark. Mario, you must stop Varen and save Nairu! Oh, did I have her all say it again? I meant to say no. <laughs> That's dumb. I don't recall, but I think you need the eight essences of time, hidden in Labrina, to beat Varen. The essences hold the power to see the truth, and they hold my memory. You won't beat Varen if you can't see the truth. With the flow of time disrupted, my memory is fading. What will we do? I'm at a loss. But if you find the essences, I'll remember everything, and you'll be able to stop Varen. Please do this, Mario. First, I want you to go to the Yol Graveyard. You mean the Yol Graveyard. I hear the first essence there. I can't do much, but take this. Yeah, freaking trees, they can never move around. Ooh, Ember Seeds, we did get the Seed Satchel back. So we're gonna burn our way to the graveyard, cool. Can I go inside her? Ooh, I can. It has the same stuff. What is this book? Ferora's Memory. Read this book again. Uh, sure. Oh, this is the ring secret that I put into the ring snake. Cool. What other, what other secrets can I put in? I don't know. Okay, so we can already climb to the top of this Maku tree. She has like a whole playground on top of herself. <laughs> Why does she have a fence on her head? Very different design from the Maku tree, overall. She has a big... Maybe the Maku tree was just balding, and she has a full set of hair. It's a beautiful girl. You rock it. You rock it. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, in the middle of these cute animals, because it's just spreading good vibes. Thank you guys for joining me so much on the first episode of my Oracle of Ages Let's Play. I am looking forward to the rest of the series. It seems like we have a pretty good establishment set up. Uh, we're finding eight essences, just like Oracle of Seasons, but they're time essences instead of... But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up for me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.